This clinic is for beginners um, and kids ages four and five years old and up should be able to do all the drills that we're going to work on today. Uh, my name is Sherry Shea. I'm the executive director for Fern Park Tennis Association, and I'm also the camp director for Camp KO at the Kingswood Oxford School. Um, I've been teaching tennis for over 30 years, and uh, I love the game, and I love being able to share my knowledge with you guys out there. So the first thing that we're going to do today is a, a little bit of a warm-up. Um, we're going to... Um, First, stretch out our arms, so we're going to do big circles going forward. So everybody should put their racket down right now. And just do some circles forward, really make your arms straight. Now we're going to go backwards again, nice and slow, both at the same time. Nice. Now we're going to reach up and get up on your tiptoes. Stretch. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then down. Great. Now we're going to take your left arm, put it across your chest, and pull your arm. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now take your right arm, pull it across your chest. This stretches out your shoulder muscle. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Good job. Now what I'd like you to do is lean over to the side for five, four, three, two, and one. Now lean back, look up at the sky or the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, and one. And now the other side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Now we're gonna work on our legs. I'd like you to go very slowly and reach and try to grab your ankles. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now what I'd like you to do is cross your left over your right, and we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Now switch, put the right leg over the left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, so today you're going to need a tennis racket, a tennis ball, and if you have some cones, terrific. You could use anything in your house, so books, anything that kind of creates like an obstacle. Um, before we get started, I just want to have a little conversation about tennis rackets. If you have a child who's playing, who's a um, young child, rackets can range anywhere from 19 inches for a junior racket all the way up to 27 inches for an adult racket. So it's very important for young children to have a size appropriate racket so that it is not too heavy for them. As far as tennis balls go, they do make a lot of different types of tennis balls nowadays. So we have a regular standard tennis ball. We have, um, this is called the 36 foot tennis ball and it's a little squishier. And then this one is a little bit in between, the red ball. Um, they also make a Nerf style ball, which is terrific for inside your house. So you won't break anything. You can hit it up against the wall. Um, this is excellent ball to use. Um, I'm gonna be going back and forth and using both rackets. So the first thing we're gonna do is just with the ball itself, um, we don't need our racket yet, and what we're working on here is our hand-eye coordination and learning to track the ball with our eyes and with our hands at the same time. So the first thing I want you to do is just a nice little easy toss. You're going to throw it up maybe a few inches above your head, 
and let it come down and have and catch it with your hands underneath. Okay? So you're following the ball up with your eyes, you're letting your the ball fall down to your hands and you're watching it into your hands. Great. Now what I'd like you to do is the hand that you use um, to write with or that you're going to use to play tennis with, you're going to toss the ball with that hand and you're just going to catch it with one hand, okay? So you want to squeeze that ball when it gets into your hand. Nice. Keep it up. Good. Now you're going to switch hands and you're going to put it in your opposite hand. So, whoops. Two, three. One hand is, sometimes it's harder with the opposite hand. The more you practice, the easier it becomes. Great, good work. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bounce the ball in front of us, okay? So this simulates when you're on a tennis court and you're following the ball and it bounces and then it rises. So what we're gonna do is with two hands, we're gonna just drop the ball in front of us and catch. Make sure that you're catching the ball with your palms underneath the ball, okay? Nice and easy. Two hands. Good job. Keep it up. Good, nice work. All right, so now again, we're gonna, each progression, we're gonna go to our racket hand and we're gonna bounce the ball and we're gonna just catch it with the one hand. Here we go. So we watch it, you're watching it land and then you're allowing the ball to rise up and then you catch. And if you can pretend that your hand is like the strings on your tennis racket, then you're gonna see how this relates to when you start playing tennis. Okay, good job. Now we're gonna do the other hand. Lift the ball up. and catch. Whoop. Okay, very good. So those are some simple ball drills that you can be doing at your house. You can also take a piece of chalk, make a circle, and try to aim for your toss to land in that circle that look like this every single time. That way you get nice and accurate with it. All right, so now let's start off with some racket skills. The first thing I want to talk about, though, is how are we going to hold the racket? So I'm a left-handed tennis player. The left hand, so my left hand goes on the bottom part of the racket, and my right hand goes above it. If you're right-handed, you're going to have the right hand on the bottom with the left on top. So when we're starting off, we're going to start off with what's called a forehand grip. And basically, you, to get that grip, you would take your racket, like it, flatten it out like this, and you're going to put your palm right on top, okay? That's your forehand grip, all right? Now, when we're doing this first skill, we're going to take that forehand grip, we're going to turn our palm up. So our palm is facing up towards the ceiling, and our racket is at about belly button level out in front of us. So the first thing we're going to do, take a regular tennis ball. I'm going to balance this ball on the racket, okay? And just keep it nice and steady. And now I'm going to start to let the ball roll around the edge of the racket, okay? I want you to notice that when you're doing this, it may fall off. That's fine. Pick it up and just put it back on. And slowly, you move your hand very gently and that ball starts to travel. Okay, so you see that a little bit of movement with your hand will make the ball really move around the racket. We're looking for control at this point, okay? Now try to go the other way. 
If you went one direction last time, let's go the other way. So I'm going counterclockwise now. Okay. Again, you can be doing, you know, you can do this when you're watching TV, when you're eating a meal. Okay, good work. All right, so the, one of the first tennis skills that we learn are called ups. What's an up? So we're going to contact the ball in the center of our strings with this grip, and we're going to keep it out in front of us under control. I'm really watching the ball at all times. I'm not, tr I'm not trying to hit it too hard or too high. I'd lose control if I did that. I keep the racket at about my belly button level and notice that I'm not even moving my feet, okay? At this point, we don't want to move our feet. We're really trying to control the ball with our hand and the racket. Okay, so see if you can do 20 in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so we did our 20. That drill also helps build up the muscles in your forearm, which is a very important part of your tennis swing. The next drill, what, the next skill we're going to do is, so we, this was the forehand grip with the palm up. Now what I'd like you to do is turn your hand the other way, almost as if you would be bouncing a basketball. But now we're going to have our knuckles facing up, and we're going to do the same thing, but now this side of the racket, okay? So this is kind of the start of a backhand. You're using sort of a backhand grip. And if you're struggling with one hand, if you don't feel strong enough, then you can do it with two hands, okay? So you can keep your eye on the ball, and you're doing it now with two hands. One hand and two hands. Okay, good work. You feel some, you know, it will definitely tire out the muscles in your arm doing this. So you want to make sure that after each exercise, relax your hand. You can wave your arm like this, okay? And when you're not doing a drill, make sure that you're not squeezing onto the racket because that will tire out your hand muscles. So just keep a nice kind of relaxed grip. Um, okay, so these are called ups. The next thing we're going to do is called downs, okay? Downs in a stationary position. So just as we were doing this last drill, how we're going to dribble like a basketball. So we're going to hit the ball down. And in this drill, notice that I allow the ball to come up to my racket and I tap it down, okay? Again, my racket stays around my belly button level and I'm totally under control, and I watch the ball, and I'm aiming for the ball, you know, I'm aiming for it to go into the center of my strings. Okay, so those are called downs. All right, the next drill that we're going to do are called ups with a bounce. So basically, you're going to take the ball in your hand that you don't use your tennis racket. You're going to put your tennis racket out in front of you. You're going to drop the ball, and then you're going to bump it up nice and gentle. Okay, so we're going to do a few of these. Notice that I bend my knees. I get under the ball, and I want you to notice that my racket stays very flat the strings. It's almost as if I could carry a pizza on my strings, okay? If I drop my strings, then it's going to take a lot more work to control the ball. And I hit the ball up about head high.
Okay. Hope everybody's getting comfortable with this. The more you can do this, this is the start of learning how to hit a forehand right here. You're lifting the ball. The next thing, eventually, you'll learn to hit it and push the ball forward. But for now, this is a very good start. Okay, so those are called ups with the bounce. Um, there's a couple other things that we can practice. We can do what's called flip flops. So a flip flop is where we take the ball and we do an up with our palm up, and then we flip it over and we do it with that backhand grip. So, whoops, there we go. So these are a little bit more advanced. You're turning the racket quickly. You're letting the ball kind of come down to the racket. You're not raising the racket to the ball. But I'm staying under control. I'm not moving my feet. Oh, that's a good workout on my forearm. I haven't been playing enough tennis these days. Um, the final little trick one that you can do are called edges. So you use the edge of the racket here and we're gonna knock the ball down like this. So this takes a lot of control and really good hand-eye coordination. I'm trying to really follow that ball right into the edge of my racket and get a nice solid hit each time. Okay, so those are edges. So there's a lot of drills that we can do just in a very small space. Now, let's start talking about, about um, a little bit of these racket skill drills with movement. So the first drill we're going to do, we call I call it walking the dog. We're going to put our ball down and we're gonna use that forehand grip with the palm behind the grip. And we're gonna put our racket down like this and we're going pretend that the ball is a dog and the racket is our leash and we're gonna move the ball very gently forward. So I've set up these cones and I'm going to go in a, like a zigzag type pattern. Um, if you don't have cones, you can just walk straight up and down um, and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna start back here. Okay, so I'm back here. I've got my, my dog in the leash, and I'm gonna come around. Notice that I keep the racket in, and the ball in front of my feet, okay? So I come over, you can either walk through this or you can run through it. Great, come around. Whoop, I keep moving my feet. Okay, and I'm gonna go back. So I'm gonna go back the same way I came. Follow that ball. A little hard on a bumpy driveway. But I stay under control. Okay, so. That's called walking the dog. The next thing we're going to do, you're going to balance the ball on your rack racket at, with movement. So here we go. So I'm gonna start here. I've got the ball on my racket and I'm gonna take little steps. I keep my eye on the ball the whole time and I keep my arm nice and steady so that I can control the ball and it's not going to fall off my racket. I'm going to go back. Here we go. All righty. So that's balancing the ball. The other thing you can do with balancing a ball is very simple. You can either, you can walk forward straight or you can walk backwards with it, keeping your eye on the ball, okay? This is all about control, really learning to use your eyes 
your racket and control the ball. The next skill we're going to do is we're going to take that drill where we did ups like this and we're going to go through the cone. So here we go. I'm going to do my ups. Again, I'm going to take it slow so I can kind of really control the ball. But I'm moving my feet and I'm hitting the ball at the same time. Okay, so how did that go for you? A little bit more challenging, right? All right, so now we've done our ups. We could also do it the other way. So let's try that. We're going to do it with our back hand grip, okay? Got our knuckles up. We're going to hit it this way. So I've got my racket this way. Knuckles up. And when you're doing this drill, these drills, if the ball falls off or you lose control, not a problem. Just grab the ball wherever you are and then start back up, okay? So that was with the backhand grip. Now we're gonna do our dribbling. So we're doing our downs. Palm of our hands is on top, okay? And we're gonna go through the cones dribbling the ball. out in front of me so I can control it. Hope I don't hit any of the cracks. Whoops. Okay, even I have problems sometimes. Here we go, we're gonna go back. Okay, so those were our downs. Good drill. You can do that a number of times um, to really get good control. Um, our next drill is we're going to do ups with the bounce, and we're going to do those through the cone. Okay, so everybody get ready. Racket's ready. Ball, you bounce and bump. And you want to keep that bump a little bit in front of you. Whoops, lost control. Gotta stay under control. Always keep your feet behind the ball. Keep moving your feet. the mulch. Okay, so that was our ups with a bounce. Last drill that we'll do is going to be the ups with the bounce, but with the backhand grip. So you wanna make sure that you have your knuckles on top. And when you drop this ball, then you're going to grab a, grab a hold with your non-tennis hand uh, on top of the racket, above the other hand. So always make sure that your tennis hand stays on the bottom. And if you hit a two-handed backhand, then your non-dominant hand goes on top of that. All right, here we go. All right. I have my backhand grip. Just 
staying under control. You guys should be doing this as well. Here we go, and we'll go back. Oops. Might start again because I messed up. Not a problem. Okay. So those are some racket skills that you can practice inside your house, in your driveway, in your garage. Always make sure that when you're playing that you have enough space that you're not going to hit your mom's favorite lamp over, um, break a window. Um, if you do have a wall at your house that you can hit against, that's great. These softballs are really excellent to have, and I think you can find them different stores, Walmart, Amazon. Um, it's a nice squishy ball. One or two other things before I say sign off today is that when you are playing, we'll start off a little bit about ready position. So when once you do get on a court and you start to play tennis, you want to make sure that you're always in a good ready position. And that means that your hips and your feet are about shoulder width apart. You're relaxed in your knees, okay? Weight is on the balls of your feet. The balls of your feet are the front part. You don't wanna be sitting back on your heels. It's very hard to have a good first step if your weight is back. So the weight is on the front part of your feet. Your racket is positioned at belly button level, out in front of you with your tennis hand. The hand that you're hit with or you write with is on the bottom, your other hand's on top and you're ready to go. This way, you can make a good quick move to your forehand or a good quick move to your backhand. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's racket skills. I look forward to seeing you again soon, and hopefully we can see each other in person on the tennis court. Take care and have a great day.